Hey guys, what's going on? FGames here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install mods in Hypixel Skyblock. When I was trying to install Skyblock mods, it was quite difficult to find a good guide on how to do so. So in today's video, I'm going to make a complete guide on how to install Skyblock mods, including not enough updates, patcher, and dungeon secret waypoints. Without further ado, let's get started. The very first thing you're going to need to do is, if you don't already have it, is to install Java. If you already have it installed, skip to the next section. If not, follow these instructions. Go to the description and click on the link under Java Download, or you can just search up Java Downloads Oracle, and then click on this. Click Windows, and then go to the x64 in installer. Click on this link, and it will begin downloading. This shouldn't take too long to download. See, it's already down to like 10 seconds. Once this is done, you may open it, and you'll probably be prompted with would you like to let this file make changes to your device. Click yes because Java is a very trusted source and is 100% safe. So I'm just going to click open. Okay, so now that's opened up. I already have it installed, so it's asking if I'd like to reinstall it. But for the sake of this video, I'll just click yes. Okay, so now with this screen, you'll click next and then next again, and then it'll begin downloading. And after this is done, you'll be all good. Okay, that's it. You just click close. Now that you have Java installed, you can get Forge. Forge is one of the best launchers for mods in Minecraft and almost all the Skylook mods are used with it. To download, click on the link in the description under Forge Download or search Minecraft 1.8.9 Forge Download. And then just click on this. And then you're going to go on to, under download recommended and then click the installer. Wait, it's not loading. And then you're going to want to click on the installer. And now don't click on anything on this page. Move your mouse off just so you don't click anything. Don't click anything on this page. It's an ad focus. And you're just going to wait for this in the top right corner and then click skip. Okay. And now you're going to exit out of this as soon as you can because you don't want that. We're just going to wait for this to download fully. Okay. Now what you're going to want to do is open the file. I'm actually not going to open the file since it shows some personal information. But all you're going to have to do is open the file. And there's three options. Install client, install server, and extract. Just keep it on the default, which is install client. And then click OK. And then it should go directly into your Minecraft launcher. So I'm just going to load that up and you'll see right here that it should be automatically put into place right here. 1.8.9 forge. But if it's not there, click on installations, new installation, and then scroll all the way down until you find forge 1.8.9. The big mod I suggest get using is not enough updates, but you can get whichever ones you want. I also suggest getting Optifine for optimum performance. I'll go over how to install both of these. For Optifine, search up Optifine download in your browser. Just like that. And then you're going to want to click on that. And then click show all versions. Scroll down to 1.8.9. And then click mirror. And then you just click download. And then it's going to install in the bottom left hand corner. And then there's going to be an ad and you can just exit out of that. We'll just wait for this to install. And once this is done, you're going to want to drag it to your desktop. Now I already have this in my um, mods folder, so I'm not going to need to drag it to my desktop. But what you would do is you'd go into percent app data percent, open it, and you click on dot Minecraft and then mods. Then 1.8.9. Well, you actually wouldn't have 1.8.9 right there. Only I have it since I just decided that I could just put my 1.8.9 mods in one folder and that'd be good. So you just drag. You could actually just drag it from there into your mods folder, but it, you can also just drag it from your desktop into here, and then that's it. So yeah, you can do this with any mod you want. 
including not enough updates like the dungeons guide patcher and even like some non skyblock mods like better fps to install not enough updates you're gonna you're gonna want to click on the link in the description under not enough updates and you're gonna be sent to this page and then you're just click, gonna click on the jar file and then download it and it's the same thing you go back into your your uh, mod folder and then you drag it in either from here or from your desktop and yeah that's basically it it's not too difficult to install skyblock mods once you learn how to do it so yeah, i don't need this to finish downloading because i already have it installed so i'm just going to exit out and now we're just going to open minecraft and we're going to see how our mods are doing okay so now i'm at my island and as you can see we have the search bar which is a not enough updates only feature which is pretty nice you can just search for any item in the game it's like you can search for like necron will come up and yeah this works with any mod once again so this method for installing static mods works with any mod you can just download it drag it into your mods folder and it should work so yeah that's the end of the video guys hope you enjoyed if you did feel free to subscribe and like as it really helped me i'm really close to 200 subscribers i think i'm only one or eight way at, at the time of recording so yeah also feel free to join our discord server so yeah guys see you guys next time bye